Hello everyone, thanks for going another mile with me, Joel Heitkamp, here at KFGO.com. Of course, the slate of candidates from the endorsed conventions are already there, or are the slate of candidates really there. On the Republican side of the ledger, they're going to have some primary votes. That speaks to the strength of the Republican Party itself. I really do believe that. Uh, most Republicans believe that if they don't win at the Republican convention or at least end up on that ballot in the fall as a Republican, they have no chance of winning anyway. Uh, you saw John Hoban do it. He was a Democrat, switched over to be a Republican so that he could be on that ballot as a Republican, uh, really governed as a left of center type of governor. Uh, even the Republicans would admit that. Jack Dalrymple, I would argue, has moved more towards a centrist position than what he was as a legislator. But let's talk about the primary races. Uh, the Republican Party itself in North Dakota, you saw over the weekend, is definitely moved further to the right. It has. Uh, there's at least six to 650 Tea Party uh, delegates at that convention, and they were mad. They had a right to be mad. Here's what they were mad about. They were mad because they feel the process had been hijacked from them and was unfair. They wanted to be delegates to the national convention because in the primary race here in North Dakota, what happened? Well, Rick Santorum won. Who came in second? Ron Paul won. Not Mitt Romney. Now, what's happening on the national scale? Uh, well, every delegate from the North Dakota contingency that's going is supporting Mitt Romney. And what these delegates are emailing me and talking to me about here at KFGO is they're saying, why does Mikey Hoven, just because she's married to John Hoven, get a seat at the national convention when we wanted to run for one on the floor of that convention and our mics were shut off and we didn't have an opportunity to speak to it? They're mad. They're really mad. Now, there's an assumption that, uh, and there always has been, from both parties that you can tick off members of your party in the fall they come home. I would argue that, look at the McCain-Palin race. Did they come home? Uh, you know, the, the Republicans maybe didn't vote for Barack Obama, but I don't think some of them even voted. Could that happen here in North Dakota? Could some of these people, these young, uh, vibrant Tea Party, Ron Paul type individuals who are becoming very active in the Republican Party choose to say, you know what? I'm not going to vote this fall. I'm not. Well, it's a question. It's a question I have for you here at KFGO.com. I think there is that chance. I think that the race between Dwayne Sand and Rick Berg is going to be very telling. And what we're going to find out, and what you're going to find out, is that Rick Berg doesn't have the guts, the courage, the intestinal fortitude to even debate Dwayne Sand. Sorry, that's where I'm at. If you disagree with me, I'd love to hear from you about it. From 8.30 to 11 on my show, News and Views. Good visiting with you, and we'll see you down the trail.